people who have bought a stranger a drink at the bar. How did it go? I was once bored at my table with friends and witnessed two people exchange glances further at the bar but no initiative. So I bought two drinks, asked the bartender to give it to them separately, and say the other bought it that was a very fun scene to witness from afar. They ended up chatting all night and leaving together. That's hilarious and a great story. A sweet older lady at a bar a few weeks ago offered to buy my whole table of girls drinks if we danced. Because she didn't want to be the only one on the dance floor, we gladly obliged. An older lady who was deep in a conversation with her friend quietly had the bartender get me a drink. She never looked or said anything to me, had her back to me talking to a friend. I thought it was nice, said by her one back. The bartender then said, she isn't trying to have anything happen. She's just being nice. Ah, uh, yeah? Of course. She's literally had her back to me all night. I didn't even pay her any mind. So I said, I know, I'm just being nice too. And the bartender acted like I was trying to get with her. But she got the other girl a drink and we went back to not interacting whatsoever. Eventually I got sufficiently drunk and went home. I bought a drink for a woman one time, hadn't made eye contact, no proof she was aware I existed. My biggest problem was that my friend that was with me hadn't had enough liquid courage to get up and go talk to her himself. I pulled the waitress aside, asked her to buy this woman whatever drink she wanted on my tab, but tell her it was from my friend. I received a text message at 3am from my friend that same morning that said, if I marry her. You're going to be the best man at my wedding. Best part is that I have probably one of the greatest photos of me in a tux on their wedding day. I remember seeing a cute girl at a bar in the early evening. One guy bought her a drink, which the bartender delivered. A different guy did the same. She smiled and waved thanks to them. I flagged the bartender down and ordered her a water. She laughed and we chatted a bit. That was the end of it though. I this is not a bad move. The real pro move here is to send her over a nice rotisserie chicken, lemon slice and sprig of parsley for garnish, to class it up a bit. You know? My wife and I were at a happy hour at a local Mexican restaurant. Pre-COVID they would lay out an impressive spread of buffet food for free. Drinks were $2 off. We would drop our sons off nearby for basketball practice and sometimes go for happy hour. So one Friday night, just after we arrived, an older couple, late 60s or early 70s arrived and ordered their drinks. We shared the same waiter and we told him we wanted to pay for their drink. Great. Until they proceeded to absolutely pound margaritas three drinks to our one. After about 90 minutes, we were finishing our second and last margaritas, and they were finishing their sixth margarita each. So we waved down our now busy waiter and clarified we would pay for their first drinks and not the five subsequent rounds. The waiter laughed and said he hadn't even told them of our offer yet. Phew. It was awesome. I was really drunk and I bought a random fella a shot of tequila. He was from Iraq and we ended the night with him hugging me crying because people are usually scared of him, thinking he's a terrorist. He hadn't felt included in so long. It was nice. The hangover was not. Years ago, not long after September 11th I sold a car to a former Iraqi soldier, first Gulf War. Being genuinely curious I asked him about it. He was one of the guys that surrendered to reporters, said he was forced to be in Saddam's army or they would heal his family. He defected to the States after surrender and was able to bring his whole family. We're still friends to this day. I was the designated wingman, deployed to get the convo started. Early in the evening we saw a group of cute girls, tipped the bartender $5 to get them each shots of water. 
When it arrived they looked over at us. We tipped our glasses to them. They cheered back. Clanked glasses. And down the hatch. Oh the look on their faces. My brothers did not know how to follow up with banter and striked out as soon as they come over to chat us up. I was sitting at a local bar by myself having a burger and a beer. Suddenly, the bartender brought over a large whiskey shot, and I was confused until she leaned in and told me the gorgeous girl I had glanced at a couple times sent it over to me. We've been together ever since, smiley face. I was bored shitless at a bar after a ducked up breakup, and sent a few beers over to a girl who also looked bored. We had a kid a few years later. That was some expensive beer. I'm a guy. A man bought me a drink once. I was fucking stoked. I thought he wanted to talk sports. There was a lot of bro talk. I bought him the next round to pay him back. And then I continued on with my night with my buddies. The next day I realized what was going on and gave myself a little high five. I was visiting NYC and was out at a bar solo with three guys sitting next to me. One of the guys bought my next round randomly. So I thanked him and told the bartender I'd buy his next round. His two friends shared a glance then immediately got up and went to a nearby table. And the guy scooted close to me for some one-on-one -on -one time. I realized what was happening but I enjoy company when I drink. So buckle up, buddy. We're talking about sports and movies for the next hour. I'm not stuck in here with you. You're stuck in here with me. I lost a game of rock, paper, scissors to my friend to decide who would get to talk to the cute girl in a group at another table. For still unknown reasons, he chatted up the friends and left me sitting next to the cute one. Married 20 years with four kids. The stealthy wingman. The hero you maybe didn't deserve, but needed. I do it all the time when the bar line is really long. I walk up to a solo or couple and ask if I can buy them a drink so I can skip the line. Works every time. I get a drink within 5 minutes instead of 25. And they get a free drink. We go our separate ways after that. I was at my usual bar in college and it was totally empty that night but I was friends with the bartender. These two guys came in and I overheard it was one's 21st birthday so I bought him a drink and we got to talking. They were brothers and the older one was extremely hot. Last call rolled around and we go to walk home and they lived a block from me and we walked together. I ended up asking if they wanted to drink more at my place, and we polished off a bottle of whiskey and hung out until daylight. I'm married to the big brother now. Been together 10 years and he's still astonishingly hot. She tried to run me over with her car some months later. I feel like there's some context between bought her a drink and tried to run me over with her car. That might be missing but not sure. Was feeling particularly confident that night so I bought a girl who I made eye contact with at the bar a drink. We have two kids and have been together for 16 years. The bartender gave me a glass of water that I didn't ask for but hey I like water. He immediately said. Oops that water was for her and indicated a blonde sitting a few feet away. She was watching all of this. So I picked up the glass of water while making eye contact and licked all around the top of the glass. She laughed and came over and asked if she could join me. And we had a few drinks and laughs but she got sloppy drunk and loud so I excused myself and got an Uber. Bought a group of Latino gang members a bucket of beer once to thank them for having me in their territory and not caving my head in when I wandered into their local dive bar as a drunk Australian tourist. Security guys wearing full body black outfits. 
balaclavas and dark sunglasses checking everyone entering with metal detector wands and pat-downs should have been a warning not to enter, but drunk me had other ideas. They probably figured you had a big knife and were more scared of you. She flirted me up a bit. She told me she was there for her friend's birthday so if I wanted to buy her a drink, I needed to get around for all her friends. I bought all five of them drinks. She took the drinks to their table and ignored me for the rest of the night. Next time a woman flirted me up at the bar. I went to order a drink and she asked me to get her one. I bought her a drink and she immediately walked away from the bar and didn't really talk to me the rest of the night. I got pregnant. What was in the drink? Lots of times for various reasons. It always ends fine. The most interesting thing that happened was the dude happened to be the bar owner, and he bought me something much fancier. I've done it a small handful of times. A few times it went nowhere. A couple of times we had fun and slept together. Once we went on dozens of dates and lived together and are engaged now. I was in Melbourne alone one night after traveling there for a job interview. Sitting on a large couch surrounded by strangers. The waitress came around to take my order and I said, plus whatever these lovely ladies are having. They all laughed and I introduced myself and told them my story. Apparently one of the girls owned the club and thought I was adorable. Wasn't long before we were in the back room office slash lounge room. First time I ever saw a brick of coke chiseled away with an ice pick. In the type of wanker who and tipsy splashes out. When I used to drink anyway. All my friends and all their partners and anyone in the group got free drinks. I'd go home alone. Minus $500 for the night. It's funny now that I'm older and don't party. How many of them friends I still have? I'd say at least two of them I keep in contact with. I'm not a bad drunk just to waste money on people who I shouldn't waste money on kind of drunk. Funny story my buddy was like this. He and his wife were visiting me in a mountain town in Colorado. Things are going well. I find a new friend. We break off and are making out a bit. While my buddy is buying rounds for all her friends and chatting and whatnot. My new friend and I go back to check in. And apparently my buddy's wife was not loving the situation takes her full drink and throws it at said buddy's face for being too friendly. Of course. She's drunk. So she misses him. And gets more me and my new friend. Before the wife storms off. This ruins all my hard work I had been putting in. Everyone breaks off into different directions etc. I did go out with the girl once a week or so later. But the magic was gone. Married guy here. I was at a bar with a couple of guy friends who are kind of shy. So I walked up to a table with two gals and explained. I'm married, but my two friends are single. Can we buy you around and hang out with you for a minute? They agreed but also requested that they get the drinks from the bartenders instead of getting the drinks brought out to them. Guess they were concerned about getting their drinks spiked. Not faulting them at all. Just guess that's how it works these days. Sometimes when I'm visiting an unfamiliar bar occupied by a regular crowd, I'll ask the bartender to buy the house around. I'm talking hole in the wall, but friendly vibe type of place. Even if there is 15 to 20 people, it is not a wallet breaker if I'm expecting to cover $100 or so. Toss a nice tip on top and you are pretty much family at that point. I've never had a negative experience. And I've made some quick friends in what would have been an evening drinking among strangers. And typically I get a number of drinks in reciprocation. It's not an every time thing because sometimes I want to drink quietly among strangers. Oh and P.S. You should have a story ready as to the reason you are buying even if BS. Something to warrant the gesture but not make me a mark. My go-to if asked is, Grandson was born today, and I wanted to celebrate with others. I did this once. 
I'd always wanted to buy a round for a bar and was celebrating a promotion. I told them not to tell them I was the one who ordered it. It was fun. The owner knew and gave me some coupons for free drinks. Ha. <laughs> and yeah. It wasn't nearly as expensive as I assumed it would be. Maybe $100. The only other time I remember ordering a drink for someone was at a concert at a bar. I almost elbowed a chick in the face when I sat down. We talked a bit. And I ordered her a drink. She came back to my place. And we hooked up. Unfortunately. She was from out of town. So nothing more than that night. I literally couldn't replicate it if I tried. While halfway around the world in Florence, I overheard two girls sitting at the bar beside me talking about how one of them had recently finished her med tech program. I was genuinely happy for her and said hey. I couldn't help but overhear but wanted to just say congrats and bought them both a shot. I wasn't trying to hook up with either of them and just wanted to do something nice for a pair of travelers like myself who were celebrating a big achievement. We ended up drinking talking and partying all night, and I had new travel buddies for the next two weeks of my trip. When we had to go our separate ways, we ended up keeping in touch and would randomly get together in some other foreign place every year or so if all the timing worked out. Unfortunately now we're all super busy with our careers and families that we haven't chatted in years but I still think of them all the time and hope they're doing well. To Kelly and Lindsay, I love you guys. 100% said thanks, 60% reciprocated, 99.9% .9 acquaintance level or greater friendship achieved, 0.1% became close friend then turned enemy but had nothing to do with first or 1000th drink. Like all great stories it was because of the fact that we showed each other what we hated about ourselves, and due to youth we could not see the truth of it, lost contact, can repair. Me, I'm 28, I have too many of these stories as I am quite extroverted and like connecting with strangers. Two of my favorite ones, me and a friend were broke backpackers on a boat trip to a deserted island for a day. Started chatting with the man across from us and eventually he invited us to join dinner in a nice beach restaurant where he had ordered some special local food in the days before. Had a great time. Then a day later we met him in the bar again and he just told the waiter to put all our drinks on his tab. What a legend. Planning on paying this forward when I have the chance in the future went to a rooftop bar in Germany. Started talking very broken German to a man that just hopped in the elevator with us and asked how he was doing. Once we were in the rooftop bar, everything was full. Turned out this man was the manager of the place and got us a table. Drinks and even directed some female guests to our table. Fun nights. In 2007, I took a stool by an old man watching the bulls at my corner bar. We talked and I bought us rounds through the game. When he left, he asked my rent, shook his head. Not anymore. I'm lowering it. He owned my building. Next day, rent was less. That Friday, the bartender waved, showed me a ledger, my name and $300 banked for drinks, his gift. Two. was having a friendly chat with another dude at the bar. I figured he was cool as hell. So I got him a refill of whatever it was he was drinking. All friendly stuff. The next time I came to the bar, he was there and ordered me one. I have a tendency to make friends anywhere I go and I like that part of myself. Belligerent manly man at a bar peacocking after I walked in with my friends. He was hanging out with a couple of his friends and they were egging him on. He was about to start escalating some sheet with us. But right when we walked in I caught one of his buddies refer to him by his first name, Dell. I think that's how you spell it. So when he made first contact with us, I made a big deal of doing a double take and I shouted, Holy sheet! Dell? Is that you? Jesus Christ I haven't seen you since we were kids. How the duck are ya? You don't remember me, do you? Whatever you're having next one on me. I introduced myself and said our moms used to know each other. And I asked him to remind me of the details. 
Dell was surprised and he told me a few details. Enough that I was able to settle on a backstory. I learned his mother died not too long after we would have known each other. So when the drinks arrived I toasted her memory with them. And then I told him we didn't want to interrupt his night reminiscing with me, and we were going to duck off to a corner booth. The whole thing lasted less than five minutes, and we had three guys in the bar watching our backs instead of kicking our asses all night. Cost me a $7 beer plus $3 tip. I got married young and divorced young too. When I was ready to try dating again I tried buying a woman a drink as an opener. It worked significantly worse than just going up to her and saying, Hi my name is Red. Story time. Our group of friends were chilling at a table in a bar. This guy and girl at the bar counter have been chatting for a while and it seems like it's going well. But the girl keeps looking around for other options as the night goes on. So we buy the guy a drink and ask our waitress to say it is from an admirer. The girl a miles after the drink arrived but now she was eyeing other girls like a hawk. Fast forward about 10 minutes and her arms were wrapped around him. Making out at the bar. RKO out of nowhere to seal the deal for that rando. Wow. I was working on a cruise ship in US. And in the summer of 2005 I decided to spend my two months vacation in Las Vegas. Instead of going home in Eastern Europe. The plan was to stay at some good friends in Henderson. But for the first week they were away. So I got a room at the Stratosphere Hotel. In the first evening. Tired after traveling and with no plans. I went down to the hotel's PT sports bar. Looking to unwind and scout the environment. It was some important game. So the bar was full and very animated. As I was sipping from my beer sitting at the bar counter. I see a beautiful young woman making her way through the mob. Reaching the bar 20 feet away from me. And trying to get the bartender's attention to order something. He was right next to me. And I made him aware of her, and also told him that whatever she's ordering, it will be on my tab. She graciously accepted and, with the drink in her hand, she made her way towards me. What followed after is still a blur in my mind. But whatever I remember is seared deep down in my memories. Never to be forgotten, we talked and drank for a couple of hours. And around 11 p.m. she convinced me to take her to a nightclub where we drank again and smoked some powerful we da. And I freaked out inside. Because I had the feeling I cannot control anything anymore. Then around 1 a.m. she took me to a hotel with a cowboy bar. Where I rode a mechanical bull. We drank again and she taught me to line or barn dance. And it felt great. Although I was the only metalhead on that huge dance floor filled with typical cowboys and cowgirls. Then we drank some fancy cocktails in another bar with an outside terrace where every table had some nice lit pink and blue artisans for every table, don't remember much. But I have the feeling now that it was a gay bar. Then at 4am we ended up in my hotel room, where I had one of the best six of my life for a couple of hours, not going into details, until we both fell asleep, while the sun was rising over the strip. Around 10am, she wakes up scared. Starts putting her clothes on, repeating on and on that she's late, and, when I asked her to stay for a breakfast together, she told me she's with her parents in the same hotel and they have a plane back home in a couple of hours. I was left perplexed. As I realized she might have been underage, I was in my 30s at that time and didn't know much about her. Other than her name was Emily and she was from Richmond, Virginia, if any of it true. Never heard of her anymore. But man, that first night on the strip was the beginning of two crazy months in Las Vegas. When I first moved to a new city that's essentially how I would meet people. I'd just walk up to people and be like, Fireball or tequila? And then we'd do a shot and it'd usually just lead to some surface level friendship for the night. A few people I got to know a bit better. Never had a bad experience with it. girl at a busy bar was having trouble getting the attention of the bartender. I asked her what she wanted and ordered it. I told her it was on me. She thanked me. 
She found me later and thanked me again. I told her. Hey, no problem. Have a great night. Because I was in a relationship and sometimes it's okay to just get a drink for someone without expecting it to be a thing. I do it all the time since I frequent places with $2 beers and $4 cocktails. It's an awesome way to introduce yourself. I do it for males, females, bar staff, whoever. Just don't go in with the expectations that they have to talk to you. Make sure you convey the energy that you want them to have a good time. If they want to talk more, let them. If not, don't be pushy. You're not buying their attention. You're giving a thoughtful gesture. I usually say, Hi, how are you? I'm MPBH. Get their vibes. If it's good. Hey, you seem pretty cool. Can I buy you a drink? Probably would have similar success making friends and romantic partners without buying the drink. But it's a nice gesture that doesn't cost too much. Most of the guys will return the favor. Some of the girls will too. And the bar staff. This is where things really pay dividends. At my usual spots I've probably gotten more free drinks than I have spent on drinks for the staff. Mainly cocktails that some customer doesn't like. I will drink literally anything and they know it. When you come in. They light up and the other customers see it and know you're a friendly person. They tell new customers. Hey go talk to that guy. He's super friendly and likes to meet new people. They'd probably do that regardless. But the occasional beer for the staff doesn't hurt. Me, 27, at the time, her 53. I'm watching NFL draft minding my own. We sat next to each other for an hour without saying a word. I was ordering another beer and saw she was low as well. I told the bartender, get my friend a drink as well. Long story short, we chit chat a little. Exchange numbers and go separate ways. Two days later, meet at another bar and we couldn't keep our hands off each other. Had car six in parking lot. Extremely intense six after we have a few drinks. This went on for months. Turns out she was married and wanted revenge on her husband who cheated on her. Lucky me. She was at a pub, dressed in her nurse's uniform, drinking a beer and watching a cricket match, a UCNG. I think. I remember her skateboard being placed next to her. I was on a double date, but I couldn't resist buying her a drink, and I just never left her. That was 19 years ago. We had a kid shortly after. Got married a bit after that. Then she finished uni. And then we had another kid. Probably not the intent of this post, but I took my wife to a country line dancing spot in Davie. We were having a good time, and when I went to the bar to get us another round, I saw this older gentleman that honestly could have been Bill Belichick's twin brother, but much happier looking. He seemed to be well known, so I just greeted him and said something like, It's always nice to see someone who's nice enough that everyone will take time out of their busy work evening to come say hi and chat for a bit. Says a lot about a person. I asked the bartender to get him another round on me. I shook his hand and went back out to dance, and when I got back, the bartender said he really appreciated the kind Hester and left me a beer as a thank you. Super cool and genuine encounter I thought. She expected more. Okay so I was out with my lady friends at the bar. I'm a man by the way. I buy a round for everyone that's about maybe 6 people total including myself. A woman who wasn't part of our party joined us and I bought her a drink as a courtesy you know. Everyone was having a good time she asked the party to buy her more and asked who the person with the money was, this was me, she bitched me out when I had refused to buy her more. She moved on to others who would but I was so baffled by the interaction. I'm a guy and I was at a bar a few years ago. There was this guy who looked visibly upset about something. I asked if he was okay. And he told me his mom had gotten into a car accident. I asked what his favorite drink was and ended up ordering a few Jack and Cokes. We talked for a bit, and I told him I'd pay for his Uber if he didn't have a ride home. Three year later, and he's still a good friend and his mom's okay. 
I'm an expat. I was at a bar with my partner and I saw a group of guys, maybe like five, laughing and talking together having a good time. It reminded me of home and my buddies I'd go out with and have a good time with at the pub. So I ordered them all a shot of vodka, including me and my partner. They came over and cheers me and asked why I ordered them shots. I told them. They said thank you and later two shots arrived with a plate of assorted finger food for my partner and I from them. It was nice. I didn't buy them a drink but had a gay guy buy me some. Was awesome for the free drinks until later he asked me if I had a boyfriend and I told him that I only date women. He nicely ended the convo and then walked out. Didn't know and couldn't tell that he was gay until he got real close up to me and asked that. My bad BRO. As a dude, I have found that with women, they drink it and leave. I have found with dudes it resolves 90% of tense situations or attempts to break the ice with a dude it is epic. Dudes never get drinks bought for them so they are pumped. Two stories. First, the day my grandma died. I was heartbroken. I was in a sheet bar in a sheet town. Just to be away from home. My best friend met me and sat with me to share in my misery. A woman saw me crying and bought me a double cactus cooler. I still remember the smile and... Cheer up. Kid. It what's wrong. But... You are alive and things will get better. I cheered up. Am alive. Things aren't better. But... I can pretend. Second, I was at a nightclub I owned. And this woman was clearly having a bad time cause her BF was being a big dick. Turns out. It was a fiancé, he called her a fat whore. And my number one bartender tossed him out. The girl didn't go with him. So. I gave her a Baron Jagger and Bailey's shot, tastes like candy, and told her ID make sure she got home safe. I explained I had women on staff to drive girls home who need it, she stayed till we closed. And a month later we got dinner. She was a good friend for a couple years. I wish she still was around. I bought myself and him a drink. Brought his over a guy friend of his had just bought him one so he turned down my offer and I double fisted. Found out later that he was engaged. Fair enough. Wouldn't have panned out anyways. Fast forward a few months. Bump into him at the bar again. He's now single. So I bought him another drink and he apologized for not taking the first one. We talked. Started hanging out. Started dating. Moved in together. Got engaged. Had a child. Bought a house. Now. About two weeks ago he broke up with me for another woman. Life keeps you guessing. Some ducker at our table bought some girl a drink. She came by to thank the guy. Who pointed to some other guy at the table who was equally confused. The girl was so appreciative and thankful. Now to the wrong guy. But the dipshit who actually paid for her drink just made it awkward and laughed. It was kind of sad because she was so authentic and the ducker who bought it was anything but. Guys, don't do shit like this. I had a buddy visit me when I was living in Hamburg. We went to the Hayfish bar and sat at the bar in the corner. At some point an elderly couple sat down 2M away at the bar, and they were the exact elderly couple I want to become with my wife later in life. Super relaxed. Casual style. Smiling and just enjoying themselves. When they ordered their second round of beers I told the bartender to put it on my tab but don't tell them. He still did and when I came back from the restroom next time I had to squeeze past them and they thanked me. After asking me why I did it I told them exactly what I just told you and then we chatted for another 20 minutes about their life in Hamburg. After that I went back to my buddy and we all kept raising our bottles and toasting each other from time to time. It was an amazing night. Got to know even more people that sat between the couple and us and we all got hammered together. Can't tell you much about the way home.